Alright boys, it's nighttime out here in the savannah. You can see the moon rising up overhead just as we're getting done with our cabin. There we go. Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and I'm here checking out a new game for the channel called Eco. No time for BS. So Eco is an ecosystem. This is a sandbox survival buildings crafting style of game. Basically what it is, is we are in an ecosystem. There is a heavy emphasis on online play. So right now I'm just kind of on a privatized server that I've made just to cool around the game a little bit. Kind of see what you guys think about it and see what I think about it as well. This is in kind of like an early development Kickstarter phase right now. You can buy it and get into the Alpha Access, which is where we are right now. Obviously, it's still very in development. So do note that. I'll have some links in the description below. But the big thing here is that you have to manage and live within this ecosystem. And the ecosystem is very, very diverse. And that's kind of the name of the game here. You can see already we have like, I think those are bison out there kind of wandering around. We got plants and trees. This is the planet that we're on. Procedurally generated. We have a fantastic body of water in the middle of the planet. Holy crap. Um, so that's pretty cool. We can kind of turn this on and off at our will. I've just got it on right now just to kind of see how it looks. All of the stuff that you can do is kind of over here. We can look at our backpack. We don't have anything yet on us. Got our little avatar here. Put myself together. A little bit of a graying... Uh, head of hair there kind of looks a little bit like oh, the bunny went right past us there the look very cool very you know simplistic polygonal design but still very vibrant and artistic and I like that I think that that's really neat let's go ahead and close down our backpack here real quick get rid of our avatar as well now we got things like skills over here these little skill points you get skill points every day, and they're kind of important. We also have things like calories, and we have to consider this as well. Our calories are going to start going down, and we're going to need to get some damn food. I read a little bit of the starting guide for this, so I know a little bit about what I'm doing, but man, this is going to be very much a learning process, and this is a deep game. So I hope you guys are ready to learn a little bit with me. There's three different types of skills that we can see here. We have civics, research, and survival. And if we click on any of these, we immediately can start to see all kinds of different things that we can do. Uh, including right over here, building construction, elections, which we're not dealing with right now, storage, workbench construction, oh god, culinary research, engineering research. But for right now, we really need to kind of, going to kind of focus on surviving. Uh, so I think that that's what we're going to do quite a bit of. So over here immediately, you can see that we have things like laboring, logging, and mining. And it suggested that those are probably some of the skills that you're going to want right away. Uh, and it mentioned the hunting as well. But gathering seems like a pretty good idea, man. I don't know. Now, it seems like you can pick a couple of things up with no big deal. But let's go ahead and just put some real quick points into these skills. So now we have, at the very least, the ability to, you know, shovel things up, which is how you get ore and stone and sand and all that kind of good stuff. Look at the sun, how the, the sunbeams are kind of coming over the landscape here. Very cool. We have our axe to chop down wood to build stuff, and then, of course, we have a pickaxe. So now, just like you can imagine, this is a vibrant world here with all kinds of plants and animals and damn near everything else in it. And if we look around... We should be able to find the items that we're going to need to sustain ourselves. So a lot of the times, they mention that you'll be able to find food and plants. Man, look at all the animals in this area. we got a butterfly flying past. Man, that's sweet as hell. We've got, this looks like maybe wheat or something over here. I imagine that's kind of edible. But what I'm looking for is maybe just something that we can pick out of the ground. Now, I may also want to invest in that, in that gathering skill maybe that would help us out let's find out what's over here there's biomes and all kinds of stuff as you can damn well imagine let's head this way what is all this over here some sort of plants over here got some of those oh is that a cactus hold on let's kind of kind of hop down here and take a look right now there's a little bit of an exploration phase man oh don't we don't want to get too close oh we just grabbed it i don't know what that was hold on let's find out let's find out we got prickly pear fruit we get carbs and vitamins. Okay, so nutrition in the game. How does it work? This is not the type of game where you can just eat one food and be fine. Kind of similar to subsistence in that way. You need all kinds of stuff, man. Carbs, protein, fat, vitamins. 
And if you eat all this stuff, you get a balance multiplier, meaning that we get more skills per day if we eat appropriately. So we can right click to consume. So let's go ahead and eat all those right there. You can see our calories going up right now. Holy crap, as I keep hitting the options screen. Oh man, we found the prickly pear smorgasbord over here, boys. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these. I want prickly pear for days. Prickly pear for days. What happens if we run into it? Do we get cut? Oh, I'm afraid. Hold on, let's find out. Okay, good. We don't get cut. I think that this is much more of a, like, a cooperative survival game than it is a kill everything and get injured game. So consider that as well. Oh, man. Prickly pears all day long, guys. Holy cow. We found, we found the mother load. But now consider this. This game is an ecosystem, so it's not all about just harvesting everything you can and destroying the environment. Recognize that our environment has to renew itself. It, it doesn't just... And it needs your help to do that. So remember, we're dealing with an ecosystem here. So if you kill everything, like let's say you kill all of the elks or the bison or whatever like that. That's it, man. You're out of elks or bison or whatever. So we need, we're going to have to stay a little bit careful about that. So we found a fantastic food source over here with these prickly pears. Uh, and we have a pretty good source of food, it looked like, with all the bison in the area. So this kind of like, we got wheat over here as well. I think we, I don't know, man, I feel pretty comfortable about where we spawn in. This seems like a pretty darn good area. I think we might want to make a little bit of a home here. So let's see, it looks like we have, if you notice over here, look how that's a different color. That stone right there, maybe that's like some sort of stone that we can harvest. Again, guys, I am learning about this game just as much as you are watching me play this if you've never played it. So let's start gaining some materials right away. I imagine we're going to want to build... Oh, there it is. There's the bison. So we're going to want them to. I imagine we're going to want to build shelter and all their have you. So let's kind of see what we can do here. If we can chop this down. Oh, there we go. Hold on, boys. think we're getting it here. Just kind of holding down on the button. Looks like we're chopping away. Oh, there it goes. Tree down, baby. Whoa. All right. I wasn't quite expecting the tree to explode in such a fantabulous fashion. See what happens if I keep hacking away here. Does this do anything? Oh, wow. Wow. Big calories going down, chopping down this tree. Holy crap. How much does it take to break up the tree? Good God. Oh, I see how this works now. Look at this. Look at this. You have to cut the tree like you'd cut a tree. So, like, I can't just hack at this one little area. I have to go over here. And then, hold on now, boom, there you go. Look at that, and the tree pops off. How do you like that BS? All right, so now that we have a couple of logs here, what do I do with these here logs? Whoa, all right, looks like I can right click to put down a little wall here. Hey, there we go. Whoa, walls abound, folks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm learning. Gray still learns, how do you like that BS? Right there, move out of the way. Oh, that's cool, it moves the, uh, Look at that. It'll move the wood right out of the wall. Oh, holy crap. Whoa, boy. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so that's how you build a wall. So can we pick this back up after? Whoa. Oh, you can. Okay, sweet. So after we after we build things, we're allowed to get it back up, too. Now, you can see, though, working like this has severely diminished, severely diminished our food supply. So it's pretty, it's pretty fortunate that we happen to have all these prickly pears and stuff over here. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of these so we can start getting something to eat. Hold on, let me go grab some additional prickly pears over here. Get us a little bit of food, and then we're going to start maybe building a house. All right, man, I got us some food. Here we go. I think that this would be a really cool place for a little house, right? Look at this cliffside right over here. Very neat. Let's make our house over here for right now. Now, as I understand it, you need a decent-sized house to be able to put a workbench down. So we do have to consider that. Um, we need enough, we need enough like width too. So let's check this width out. How, how do we put, I don't want to, I don't want to make it that way. I want to make it this way. Hold on. There we go. Now we got her going. Here we go, boys. Oh, hold on now. I got it. Got to get used to this right about here. There we have it. Yes. Okay, sweet. So now you can also have windows in your little cabin too. So we are going to do that. Let's go ahead and get this going. We need more trees. Now I think your windows can only be two by one because the idea is you want to have an enclosed space. Let's go ahead and chop up the rest of these wood pieces here. There we go. Oh wow, that was a, was that a full handful of wood? Oh, I guess it was. We got like the biggest log we could possibly get. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's, let's keep building here. I'm going to have a decent size. I want a decent size cabin. 
I mean, we can build off of it because, man, the I like how easy it is to kind of change what you're doing in this game. Like, if we want, like, let's say we want a door here. Boom. Door. There you go. In fact, I think we are going to have a door there. I think we want a six by six. So we got one. Uh, I don't know if that's indoor, indoor or outdoor dimensions. Let's do indoor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's extra. So we got a little bit of extra right there. Let's build one right there. And let's go this way. There we go. Okay, so it automatically snaps too. I like the intuitiveness there. Let me go ahead and grab some more logs, guys. Let me get this going a little bit for us. All right, I wanted to make our base, or our cabin, I guess, a little bit longer. So I found, look at this. You can go ahead and do whatever you want like this, man. I'm just kind of moving some dirt here. You know how it is. Moving some dirt, building a little bit of a barricade back here. No big deal. Just gotta, you, what you do is you left click, and then you right click. Left click, right click. No big deal. Now what happens if I start digging around this tree here? Will this tree like fly off or something? Hold on. No, the tree still looks fine. I wanna, I wanna harvest this tree too, so I don't really want it to go anywhere. There we go. So now, okay, now I can bring my house back a little bit more. This is basically what I wanted. I wanted to be able to do this. So let's switch back over to our axe. Do one chop here, one chop here, one chop here. There we go. And now like this. And I saw something else crazy. If you put this here, you, it makes like a deck. Let me show you. Look at that. It makes like a deck for your house. How crazy is that? I think that's pretty darn cool. Let's, um... Let's go one more back. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tree down as well. This way we can start harvesting this tree. Timber! Hey! Tree down! Oh, God. It fell right on top of our thing. Let's go ahead and start chopping it up as we do. Now that I've figured this out, it all makes perfect damn sense. Let's go back over to our... I want to do... I don't want... I don't want this to have like a... um. A deck like that. Let me put that just right there for right now. Let's uh, let's dig this out one more time. All right, I cleared everything up. We should be able to make the rest of the house now. Go over here, grab this, and let me see. Right about that's not what I want to do. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Got plenty more logs though to get this thing done. And now. Our house should definitely be big enough. Can I grab all these logs in one shot? No. All right, let's keep going then. Right over here. And we'll do one right there. One right there. Right there. And then this should... Hold on now. There we go. That'll connect it. Okay, sweet. Oh, this is a decent-sized house. I'm going to tell you what. We just got to build the rest of it up. You go get the rest of this wood here. I think I'm going to have to cut this. There we go. Grab there. There we go. Okay, cool. So if you can't grab the wooden one shot, all you have to do is just kind of uh, cut it again, and it'll make it'll make things happen, Jackson. I'll tell you what. Now you need this at least three high for it to be considered a house, I do believe. So this is like the very first thing that we need in the game. You can see our calories are already getting pretty low again. So I may want to think about doing the hunting thing. Um, I didn't think we would be good enough to hunt yet, but we have a decent sustainable way of food for right now. With, uh, with those prickly pears. So we may want to consider that. We need a lot more wood. Luckily, we've got a decent forest right over... Oh, look at this bird just hovering in the middle of nowhere. Where are you resting on, bird? Maybe it was on our finger. Feel very Pocahontas-like after that. Let's go ahead and chop this tree down real quick and get some more materials to make Casa de Grey looking good. Things are coming along pretty good, guys. We're just, uh, just making my little house over here. No big deal. Let's go ahead and grab several pieces of wood. And kind of, uh... Head back in my my little my little shack over here. You can see we're starting to build up again. We need three walls high, so I've just kind of started that. We can kind of jump. Let me see here. The getting stuff in the right spot can be a little a little finicky from time to time. So what I kind of have found to do is kind of use the terrain here now and again. Like see right there. See how it kind of like got all jacked up. I don't want that. I want it right there. We go. That's what I want. Right there. Yes. So we have to, like, come at it from this side. Okay, maybe not. There we go. This side. <laughs> so the building is pretty intuitive. I imagine there's an easier way to do this, too. Again, this is, like, brand new. Gray still, Gray still guesses his way through the game with a little bit of help from the wiki tutorial. <laughs> so I'm sure that uh, there, are there are those that have come before me. 
that are vastly more skilled. And there are certainly going to be those that come after me that are vastly more skilled. But, I'm loving the game so far. Go grab some more wood pieces here. Uh, can we, can we get this, can we get this done? Uh, nope, we're full up on wood. Okay, so let's head on back here and keep building up. Calories are going down pretty quick, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Those bison are starting to look pretty tasty. <laughs> um, let's see if we can at least finish up the house first, though. We're probably gonna need to grab some more prickly pears. You can see, I've got, like, 19 prickly pear fruit on me right now. So, we've got quite a bit, and our... The walls to our house are almost done here. Our, our cool little log cabin. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. And then one for right there. There we go. There's our little door. Come on inside. And now, let me see. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Yes. There's our roof. Nice. Excellent. We just have to build this all the way in, I do believe. Sweet. All right. So far, so good. Got some cross beams going on right up in here. Let's go grab some more wood. There's a little bit of grind to it, but this is, you know, in any building game, this is fun too. And I love the look. I love the look of the game. I love watching the sunbeams come up. Those are pretty damn cool. Out of the way, bison. Fear me. I am the mighty hunter. Uh, oh, wow. We are very, very low right now on calories. So we're going to get this last little bit here done, and then we're going to go grab a couple more prickly pears. Our, our entire survival, our nutrition right now is solely based on prickly pears. Oh, I wonder if I can get on top. Oh, right there. Look at that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's working. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. Hold on. Nope. All right. Well, it was, it was worth a shot. I thought maybe I could, uh, I, may, I thought maybe I could make it happen this way, but we're just using up our, we're just using up our, uh, our calories that way, and I don't want to do that. So let's just keep making, was that a bird that just flew right through my house? In my house, bird. Come on, man. What's up, chew? Let's go back out here, grab another tree real quick. I think that we had some right around here. Man, day tonight again, I do believe. Our day has come and gone. Oh, wow, we are going to need some food. Let me go over here to prickly pear land. Prickly Pear Land is a beautiful and bountiful land that is treating me quite nice. And I don't know how fast all the prickly pears come back. You can see right over here. Are these dead prickly pears? They don't look so good, man. All right, well, let's uh, let's harvest these nice-looking prickly pears. These ones, oh, wow, they're in full bloom over here. If you remember, there was a couple that weren't really, like, in full bloom. Like, this, there's a little baby prickly pear. That prickly pear is not even ready to get plucked yet. I'm not going to pluck him yet. These other ones here, though, we can certainly do. Oh, wow. It is like... It is it is prickly pear land over here. All right, let's go back over to our cabin. Oh, you can see our cabin with the sun going down. Cool. All right, man. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and eat all of our items. All right, boys, it's nighttime out here in the savanna. You can see the moon. Rising up overhead just as we're getting done with our cabin. There we go. Cabin is good. And now I think we can start building something inside of it. Most specifically a workbench. Now this wood, I'm just going to kind of put here for right now, I guess. I don't know how to just like drop the wood in one chunk. I'm not really 100% sure yet. I've tried to like click and drag stuff off and that didn't work. Let's go over here to our skill points. Um... Let's see here. We got the hunting. Oh, the crafting bench. That would probably be pretty good. As as would this campfire. Campfire turkey, hair. Can't make elk or beet or anything yet. We can make hair turkey, camas bulb. Okay. Gathering. Drifter, desert drifter, forest forager, grassland gatherer, tundra traveler. All right. So, plant fibers. Okay. Oh, and that goes down to, oh my god, that goes down. Look at all these trees down here. Holy crap. Okay. Well, that is, that is something else. And then, of course, we have the hunting, which we haven't done yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should check that out next. Maybe we should check out hunting. Um, I definitely feel like the workbench would probably be a good thing as well. And we do have a couple of points. So, we can do a couple of things with that. What is this over here? Oh, that's the culinary. That's right. To kind of get us building cool stuff. Wooden construction bench, carpentry. Oh, wow. Re oh, Jesus. 
research efficiency. Man, there is all kinds of stuff here, guys. Mother of Jesus. But, at the very least, we have a place right now to call home. So, I think what we'll do here, let me see. You know, I haven't seen, I've seen a couple of hares. So maybe, maybe we could learn our hunting skill and our, our fire skill. And maybe do some hunting that way? Let's check this out. Um, oh, we may need to make arrows and stuff though too. Because this gives you a bow. Bow, arrow, Fletcher's tool shelf. Okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. Let's try it. Oh, we have a bow. Do we have any arrows to go with said bow? All right, we did not have the item for the bow. So now I have this crafting bench, and it looks like we can put it inside of our house here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's, um, let's see here. Let's put this, I guess, right over here right now. How's that? Can I put it there? Whoa, hey, all right, man, crafting bench is down. What does it do? Whoa, okay, arrows. Ah, make four arrows. For one log stack. Oh, cool. Oh, hold on. Oh, my God. There is a ton of stuff here. Look at this. Dirt ramps, dirt roads, log roof, peat roof, wooden stairs, a quarry. Oh, we can have some stairs going down into our uh, our little scrublands area. Look at this. A research campfire store. This is Now, this has to do with the multiplayer aspect. Farmer's table. Okay, let's start making some arrows. Hold on, let me go back out here. We happen to have a couple of extra logs laying around that we had, if you remember. So let's go grab these real fast. We'll kind of chop all this down. And we should, here we go, should be able to come back right in here and make some of these arrows. Okay, so our arrows are done. Looks like it came into our private storage. So let's go ahead, I guess, and put those into our, uh, our inventory. So now, how do you fire? Oh, boy. Okay, so how do I not fire? Oh, Jesus. All right, I thought maybe, oh God, I thought maybe escape would do it, but apparently not. When you fire your arrow, can you get it back? Oh, I don't even know where it would have went. It was right down here somewhere. Now, it doesn't take very much to make an arrow, so it's not like I re feel real bad losing one. Um, so I wonder, can we find maybe a little hare or something like that? Maybe something we can hunt? Because I don't think that we can cook the elk or anything yet. It looks like we might be able to cook like a turkey and stuff. I don't know if we have any turkey around us. It is the dead of night, boys. Oh, what was that right over there? Did you see that? Hold on. I think I saw something. Maybe a little bunny or something over here. Hold on. Now, the, the wildlife reacts to everything. So, if there's, like a, if there's like an animal out here that would stalk the rabbit, it'll stalk the rabbit. I also don't want to lose my way home. So, we're heading west. Um, we want to head, I think it's due east to get back to our, to get back to our little settlement, uh, northeast. Okay. So let's head west. There we go. There you go. See right there. You can see a bison over there. Oh, this world is pretty big too. So I got to be careful, man, not to get, not to get, uh, lost. Gray still gets lost. It's very easy for me. Uh, let's see what we got here. Bunnies. Where are you, little bunnies, you delicious little jerks? Oh, guys, I hear something. I've been wandering around a little bit over here to the west. Look at this! Oh! Found a body of water. It's like a waterfall or something, it sounds like. You can see there's a big bottle of water ahead of us here. This is actually a really cool-looking area over here. Oh, yeah! There's the shoreline. A lot of sand and stuff over there, too. Wow. I haven't found any bunnies, though. Haven't found anything to hunt quite yet. You can see our calories starting to diminish a little bit. I think I've gone pretty darn far from our house, though. I'm going to start kind of walking this way. I'm going to go up on the shelf just to see what's up here. 3.47 a.m. We're getting there. Getting to our next day. Anything up here? Oh, are those blueberries? Hold on. Yes. Oh, we've got berries. Yes, this was a good find over here. Get some fruits in us. Hold on. Let me grab all these berries. I want berries for days. I know, I just got done saying you don't want to, uh, like, take all the resources in an area. And here I am, just totally annihilating the berries in this area. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, all your berries are belong to Gray. Sun's starting to come up. What do you think? Should we try Jack and a Bison? We can give it a shot. I mean, I think it's a little bit too big for us. I don't think that there's anything really that we can do with it. I don't know how good my aim is either. Hold on. Man, those bison have really good ears. 
Look at how far they can get away. Hold on, let me see here. Let's see if we can kind of sneak up a little bit. Not the best sneaker in the world. All right. The other problem is we got the low ground. We want the high ground, baby. Hold on, let me see if I can get up on this shelf. Not piss this thing off. Oh, what is that? That's a butterfly. Not gonna eat the butterfly. I don't think that butterflies are fantastic sustenance for us. All right, where are you at, buffalo? I know you guys are around here somewhere. Oh, it looks like stone over here. Found some stone. Um, luckily on the, uh, on the mini-map, we're able to see where our workbench is. And I kind of know where it is, too. I'm just kind of learn learning the layout of the land here a little. So I pretty much remember how to get home. Oh, wow. This is a pretty cool game. Nice relaxing game, too. You know, there's not, it's not like, there's not always explosions and crazy stuff happening like that. But it's kind of cool to just, like, get stuff done, do a little building, make ourselves a house, become a little bit self-sufficient. We've got, like I said, we've got prickly pears, we've got berries, we've got a whole lot of seeds, and we've got storage over in our crafting area. So I may see if we can start, like, planting some stuff. The other thing that I'd like to do is maybe get on a server with some multiplayers. So, I'm going to have to check with some of my buddies to see if anyone else is playing this game. Maybe I can get with them. We can all play together. That'd be kind of fun, huh? Hold on, let me let me check. Let me see these, these berries over here. What do we got? Huckleberries. Calories, 150. Prickly pears. Seeds. Oh, I ate all my prickly pears. So, I don't get to see how many calories that gives. Oh, you can eat the seeds for a little bit of food. Fiddlehead. Carbs and vitamins. And this gives carbs and vitamins. I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> All right, let's eat a couple of those. All we really have is carbs and vitamins. We really don't have anything else uh, when it comes to food. I'm going to eat both of these, too, just to get it out of our inventory. And then, I got to remember, it's right-click just to go back into the, the navigation pane, or whatever you want to call this, like our first-person area, where we can go do whatever we want. All right, boys, I've been playing for a while. I hope I was able to give you guys just even the slightest little taste of this game. I have a feeling... I would have to play a lot more to kind of give you guys a... Well, I would have to play a lot more to give you guys a better idea because there's just so much here. Even in this alpha phase that I don't think that I, I at all accurately represented anything that we can do. Like I said, there's just... There's just a lot more. Look at all this. There's like these weird little like... Like tunnels and stuff that kind of happened naturally in the ground over here. Very cool. And there is our, right over here, there's our, our cabin over there looking proudly atop the plateau, overlooking the lands that have all of those prickly pears that we've been kind of dining on for quite some time. Guys, if you want to see more of Eco, feel free to let me know in the comments section below if you have any suggestions or if you have any tips or anything about the game. I'm going to be reading about it. If you guys know a little bit about it, feel free to share that with me. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.